In this video, we're going to look at similar shapes and how the volumes are connected for similar shapes. Shapes are similar if one shape is an enlargement of another. And I've drawn here two cubes, um, one with a side length of 2 cm and one with a side length of 4 cm. Let's work out the volume for each of them. So the volume of a cube will be si uh, length times length times length, so it will be 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. So the volume here is 8 cm cubed. For this one, it's going to be 4 times 4 times 4, which will be 64 centimeters cubed. So whenever we enlarge the sides by a scale factor of 2, the volumes actually get 8 times bigger. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So what happens whenever we use a scale factor of enlargement of 3? So whenever the, the cube is 3 times bigger. So the volume for this one, again, is 8 centimeters cubed. But for this one, it's going to be 6 times 6 times 6, which is equal to 216 centimeters cubed. And whenever we do 216 divided by 8, just going to check this, 216 divided by 8, we get 27. So that means that if we enlarge the size by a scale factor of 3, the volume is actually get 27 times bigger. Okay, let's have a look at one more. If we've got 2 centimeters and 8 centimeters, well, 2 times 2 times 2 again is 8 centimeters cubed. And the volume, if we do 8 cubed, we get it's equal to 512 centimeters cubed. So if the scale factor of enlargement for the sides is scale factor 4, let's see what happens for the volume. So if we do 512, 512 divided by 8, we should get that it's 64 times bigger. Okay, so if we enlarge the sides by uh, we've enlarged the size by scale factor of four, the volume are, the volume is actually sixty four times bigger. So let's actually summarize this. So if we have the sides, if we make the sides two times bigger, if the scale factor of enlargement is two, the volumes are actually eight times bigger. If we times the sides by three, the volumes the volume is twenty seven times bigger, and if we times by four, the volume is sixty four times bigger. Notice two cubed is eight. 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64. So if we were to make the sides 5 times bigger, it would be the volume would be 125 times bigger. If we were to times by n for the sides, the volume would be n cubed. So the definition is, if the object is enlarged by scale factor n, then the volumes are enlarged by scale factor n cubed. So let's have a look at some questions. So here we've got two pentagonal prisms, and we know that the volume of this one is 20 centimeters cubed, and we've got the base here, so the length of this side is 2, and the length of this side is 5, or 10. That means the scale factor of enlargement is 5, it's 5 times bigger. So because the sides are 5 times bigger, if we do 5 cubed, we get 125. That means the volumes will be 125 times bigger. So if we do 20 times 125, 20 times 125, we get the volume for this large one will be 2,500 centimeters cubed. Okay, next. This time we've got the length of the side is 1, the length of the side is 3, the volume for the larger one is 5,400, and we want to find the volume for the smaller one. So the scale factor for enlargement is scale factor 3. So that means for the volumes, if we do 3 cubed, 3 cubed, we get 27. So that means that the volumes are 27 times bigger. So if we times the volume of the smaller one by 27, we will get the volume of the larger one. Therefore, if we divide the larger one by 27, we'll get the volume of the smaller one. So if we do 5,400 divided by 27, we get the answer to so 5,400 divided by 27. We get the volume of the smaller one to be 200 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's have a look at another question. This time, we've got the, the volume of the larger one, or smaller one, is 8 centimeters cubed, and the volume for the larger one is 8,000 centimeters cubed. So for the volumes, we find that that is equal to, it's, the volumes are uh, 1,000 times bigger. We multiply the, the scale factor of enlargement for the volumes is 1,000. Well, if we want to find this, this um, scale factor of enlargement for the sides, we're going to cube root this. On the previous one, we done 3 cubed was 27. So if we do done the cubed root of 27, we would get 3. For this one, because we know the volumes are 20 uh, is 1,000 uh, 1, times bigger, if we do the cube root of 1,000, 
we get that's equal to 10. That means the sides are 10 times bigger. So if we times a smaller one, 1 1.5 by 10, we'll get this side, so that's going to be 15 centimeters. Okay, let's have a look at some exam questions. So here we have got a larger cube board and it has a volume of 900 centimeters cubed and we've got 10 centimeters being the height and we've got a smaller one where the height is equal to five and we want to find the volume of the smaller one. So first of all, let's consider the scale factor of enlargements for the sides. So the scale factor of enlargements for the sides is times by two. So for the volumes, we're going to have to do two cubed, which is equal to eight times bigger. So if we were to times this volume by eight, we would get the volume of the larger one. So if we times this one by eight, we would get the larger volume. The larger volume is 900. So if we do 900 divided by eight, we'll get the volume for the smaller one. So 900 divided by eight, and we do that, and we get 900 divided by eight is equal to 112.5 centimeters cubed. Okay, and let's just check that. The sides were two times bigger, so if we multiply five by two, we get 10. That means the volume will be two cubed times bigger, so two cubed is eight, so the volumes are eight times bigger. And if we times 112.5 by eight, we would get 900, which is correct. Okay, next question. Uh, quite often in GCSE questions, you might get a volume of uh, containers and so on used for this type of thing. Okay, so it says two similar bottles are showing, showing. The smaller one has a volume, or has a, the smaller one is 20 centimeters tall and holds 480 milliliters, and the larger one is 30 centimeters tall. How much water does the larger bottle hold? So, first of all, let's consider the sides. To get from 20 to 30, let's think what the scale factor of enlargement would be. So, if we do 30 divided by 20, we'll see how many times bigger it is. And if we do that, we get 1.5. So, if we times 20 by 1.5, we get 30. So if we multiply the sides by 1.5, we're going to have to times the volumes by 1.5 cubed. So if we think what the uh, scale factor of enlargement for the volumes would be. So the scale factor of enlargement for volumes equals 1.5 cubed. And if we do 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 in your calculator, 1.5 cubed we get that's equal to 3.375. That means the volume of the larger one is 3.375 times bigger than the smaller one. So we're gonna to have to times the 480 by that 3.375. So we're gonna do 480 milliliters times 3.375. We're gonna see what we get. So then if we do that, we get it's equal to 1,620 milliliters or suppose 1.62 liters. Okay, and finally our last question. Here we've got an alien, and it says if you place this alien in water, it becomes six times bigger. Okay, so originally the height was eight centimeters, and whenever somebody placed it in water, it grew to the height of 1.14.5 uh, centimeters. Is the claim on the just is the claim on the pack justified? So whenever it says six times bigger, I'm assuming we're talking about the volumes. Okay, so let's find out, we've got the height of the small one here is equal to eight centimeters. Whenever it's placed in water, it gets bigger and it becomes 14.5 uh, centimeters. Let's see what the scale factor of enlargement is. So if we do 14.5 divided by eight, we get that is equal to, we do that, we get 1.8125. So that's how much bigger the lengths are, or the heights. For the volume, because we're comparing the volume, we want to see if it's six times bigger, you know, the overall, the whole shape getting six times larger, uh, like the volume, the amount of space it's going to take up. So we need to do this cubed. So we're going to do 1.8125 cubed. And when we do that, we get, that's equal to, oh, this is quite interesting, 5.954, so on. That's very close to six times bigger. That's how many times bigger the volume would be. So if you times this volume, by 5.95, you're gonna get it's equal to the volume of the larger one. Well, that's actually pretty close to six. 